pings at the moment. So they are not switching on the tab anymore. You may file when ready. Hey guys, I'm Sea Warfighter, and welcome to my tutorial on how to use Track IR while flying in squad. I first attempted to do this after reading a Reddit post by user Viper3369. A link to his thread will be in the description. In this video, I will mostly cover the setup required for Track IR, Free Pi, and the in-game settings in Squad. Aside from providing an incredibly enjoyable flying experience, using Track IR in Squad has helped me as a pilot with a lot of things. For example, it makes spotting enemies and vehicles easier, it's improved my ability to fly good circles when I have a door gunner engaging targets on the ground. It's helped me make sure my rotors are clear of any obstacles I might run into while landing in tight spaces, among many other things. It's worth noting though, to make this all work, you have to have an alternate means of controlling your helicopter, like a joystick. But without further ado, let's get into the guide. All necessary links will be down in the description, and relevant sections will be timestamped there as well. Alright, to get started, make your way to the FreePi website and click here to download the latest version of the software. Next, save the file to your computer, open the folder, and run the installer. Once installed, find the FreePi application and launch as an administrator. Now, navigate back to the website we just downloaded from and click on Script Examples. Scroll down and find Track IR Mouse Emulation and copy this portion. Come back to FreePy, go File, New, and paste the copied script. Find the multiply line of the script and change the value from 20 to 30. At the end of line 18, we see in parentheses key.z. This is the default to toggle this function on and off, and you can change it from Z to any key that you want. I've personally left mine on Z as it worked fine for me. Make sure to save this script by going File, Save As. This will allow you to go File, Open, or go to your recent files and open this saved script much faster in the future. Next, open up Track IR and set up a new profile. I'm not going to be covering Track IR profile setup too much in this video. There's plenty of other good videos on YouTube for that, uh, but I will touch on a few things. Make sure that you have a convenient centering hotkey set, either on your joystick or your throttle. Under the motion control section, look at your speed multiplier. Mine is at 2.4 at the moment, but it might be a value that you need to change and play around with. If you look at my motion adjustment curves graph, you'll notice that I have hard drop-offs on the far left and far right end. I've set these at the points where in game, your character can no longer free look any further left or right. Since Track IR is not actually supported and we're just mimicking mouse motion, setting up my curves like this has helped me have to recenter both Track IR and the in game free look less frequently. Now launch Squad and navigate to your settings. Select Controls and Helicopter Axes. On the left side, make sure you have Always Free Look checked on. By selecting Always Free Look, you are telling the game to treat your cursor movement as free looking at all times. Pairing this with Track IR working in junction with FreePie to move your mouse, this will give you the effect of Track IR free look. With that being said, your mouse will no longer function for controlling the helicopter, and you will have to use your joystick. Now I'll go into a couple things that I do to set up my joystick and throttle to serve you well while flying in squad. When it comes to your curves, you can set these however you like, or try copying mine for a good starting point. Ensure you set your cyclic pitch by selecting the field and moving your joystick to the 12 and 6 o'clock positions. Do the same for your cyclic roll by moving the joystick to the 9 and 3 o'clock positions. I personally set my yaw to the left and right positions of a 4-way hat on my joystick. If you have a throttle, set the collective by selecting the field and moving the throttle up and down. It's important to set your recenter free look to a easy to press button, preferably on your joystick or throttle. 
Make sure to set a keybind for cockpit zoom on the joystick or throttle that's easy to press. That way you can quickly zoom in and better see things on the ground. Don't forget to unbind both options for toggle landing camera because the landing camera is for scrubs. What the hell did you just say? It's very helpful to set unload construction and unload ammo supplies to a button on your joystick or throttle. That way you don't have to take your hands off your controls and you can do this easier while in a hover. I also make sure to set a hotkey on the joystick for place observe order. That way I can quickly mark things from the air. Uh, where is he now? Oh, I see him. Getting active. Check mark new mark, one. check new mark. Alright, if that radio goes down, check uh, those three Got five radio marks that popped nice. up. They aim for getting radio cool. set apps down in those areas. Alright, that's our job done. Let's look for the next one. Additionally, it's very helpful to set a hotkey on your joystick or throttle to handle local voice, squad radio, and command radio broadcasts. Because after all, squad is a game about communication, and if it's difficult for you to communicate while flying, you're greatly diminishing the helicopter as an asset to the team. In order to be as maneuverable as possible, it's important to set your helicopter pitch sensitivity and helicopter roll sensitivity to maximum of four. I will note though, that the higher this sensitivity value is, the more touchy the aircraft will handle, and you may have to adjust your curves and practice a lot to get the hang of it. I also have keybinds set on the joystick for toggle map on and off, and toggle map zoom, that way I can see where I'm going. And now, tab back to FreePie, go to script, and hit run script. Load into the helicopter training grounds in squad, hop in your helicopter, hit your toggle on hotkey, and have fun learning how to fly all over again. I'm mostly joking, but in all seriousness, it did take me a long time to get used to flying with track IR and the joystick put together. While I think the addition of track IR provides a lot of unique benefits, I do think flying with a joystick can be limiting. When I say that, I guess I mean flying with a joystick, I don't feel like I can pull off the same types of maneuvers that I could flying with mouse and keyboard. Nevertheless, flying with track IR and a joystick is hands down my favorite way to fly in this game. I find it far more enjoyable than flying on mouse and keyboard. Anyways, that's going to be it for this one. If this video helped you, leave a like and consider subscribing. If you have questions or run into any problems, leave a comment below and I or someone else in the community can probably help you. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.